Welcome back everybody to the shop, to the gymnasium. <laughs> it looks so good on camera in this corner. It looks awesome. Today, we're gonna make it look better. After doing the floors, after doing the walls, there's only one thing left to make this place perfect. And that is some new lighting. We're gonna be replacing the big old halogen lights, the LED lights that we have, 28,000 lumens each, which adds up to almost 170,000 lumens in this place. Plus, we are still gonna be having these fluorescent lights. Let me show you what we got. So this, these are, these are the lights here. Six of these bad boys is what we're gonna be installing. This is a 200 watt LED high bay light from Hyperlight. And Hyperlight was kind enough to send these lights out for the shop. These things are super bright, which I'll show you in just a second. They are plug and play, they're dimmable, they're light, they're small, and they're super budget friendly. I'll have a link in the description down to Hyperlight. They make these, they make a really cool work light, which I'll show you later in the video. Now, even though these are plug and play and we could just hang them up and run extensions cords up, extensions cords, extension cords up there, we're gonna install them legitly. Uh, I've got an electrician coming tomorrow to wire up all six lights and hang them up. I know a couple of you guys will probably be upset that I'm not doing it myself, but I don't have a tall enough ladder to get all the way up there. And I don't really feel like doing it. After all this work, I just wanna, <laughs> I wanna start moving in. Let's, uh, let's plug it in. Audrey? If you shine this thing in my yeah, eyes again. Eyes. Are you ready to close your eyes? All right, close your eyes, Audrey. <laughs> Whee! So this is one light. We're gonna have two lights up front here on this main beam, and that will illuminate this front section. We'll have two lights right where those old lights are, which will illuminate this middle section. And then we'll have two lights back here, which will illuminate this back section. Another cool thing about Hyperlight is that they have a like a light simulator. So if you tell them the dimensions of your garage, the height, you know, the width, they can actually run a computer simulation and tell you how many lights you need, what power you need, and where you need to put them. So they did that for me. And that's why we got those 200 watt lights and six of them. As I said, the electrician's coming tomorrow. So while we wait, we're gonna start setting the shop up a little bit more, moving some things in and fixing some things. Now, as you guys saw in the tour video, I showed you guys that there, there's air lines ran throughout. That's what these are right here. And the air compressor is, um, it's out back. There's one problem, there's lots of leaks. So here, I'm gonna turn on the air compressor and you'll see, the question is which one is the air compressor? You ready, Audrey? The air compressor going on? No. So you can hear all the leaks. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly coming from here. So this one leaks a bit. Oh, this one leaks a lot. Holy cow. I can't even hear you over it. <laughs> I gotta fix that. It's really actually just, there's two lines. Yeah, we're gonna replace that. We're gonna do a little bit of wiring. When we painted the walls, we didn't bother taping up the outlets. I wanted to replace them anyway. A lot of them were loose. They're yellow, they're they're nasty. So we're gonna replace all of the outlets. Um, I gotta switch around some of the 220 volt outlets because that's for the tire machine, which is over here. We're gonna clean the hoses because they're all nasty. We're gonna route the air hose to the tire machine. We're gonna replace these greasy ropes with some new ropes. Just a lot of little stuff. All the little touches that this place needs. So guys, we're on the home stretch, so let's get Started. Probably a good idea to take these fittings off to figure out what we need. Thank goodness I've got my new toolbox. <laughs> uh, that, that's never gonna get old. I don't know how much I'm gonna be using the air system because I'm gonna be getting electric tools, but. Well, why don't you get air tools? It's just less efficient. Electric tools are better. But it will be nice for like blowing things off, you know, filling up tires, all that kind of stuff. And she will blow off hose. Yeah, I guess. Audrey's DTI lives on. And look at this. No check engine light anymore, baby.
Oh yeah. As the air compressor builds pressure, so we can test it. Audrey went ahead and removed all the covers for the outlets, and all of these are not live, so we're all good. So we're just gonna replace them. We bought some black outlets. Thought that would be kind of a cool contrast to go with the, uh, you know, white walls, black beams. So it's pretty simple. Right when I was about to start on the outlets, air compressor turned off. These are both leaking, so. These are the only two fittings I didn't replace, and sure enough, they're the only ones that are leaking, so. I'll have to replace those. They're leaking very minimal. All the other ones are good. Yeah, so, gotta go get more fittings. Well, all of the outlets are installed. I really like the black outlets on the white wall. Makes it easy to know where an outlet is when you're in search of one. Am I gonna blow up the building and burn it down? Let's find out. Smell anything? Anything burning, Audrey? Let's test something. Now, we did not replace the light switches because I don't think it'd be necessary, but with all the other outlets being black, we're gonna replace those. So tomorrow, we're gonna replace those, and the electricians are gonna come install the lights, and if they have time, fix this 220 volt outlet, because it's only a 20 amp outlet, and that's not enough for welders. And this is Hyperlite's new LED work light. It's a portable, hangable, and linkable work light that is super bright. And it's gonna come in handy when working on cars on a lift. We about to test it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, yeah. I like that. The, the camera sensor right now is just like. Let's do it That's sweet. Yeah, we gotta change the color of those. That was another successful day. I mean, look at this place. This is exactly what we wanted. The electricians put switched receptacles on the roof and then they mounted the Hyperlight LEDs and plugged them in. It could still be brighter, but look, I can walk anywhere in my shop and the lighting's actually good which is something I've never been able to say, so that's freaking awesome. While they were here, they also did fix my 220 volt outlet issue. So this used to be a 20 amp 220 volt outlet, um, and the wiring was only 12 gauge wiring, so they pulled all the wiring out, replaced it with eight gauge, or I don't remember what gauge, and then they put a 50 amp plug in there and a 50 amp breaker in. We moved the outlet for the tire machine, tire balancer right there. Voila. And then this outlet will be for welders, it'll be for the plasma table, it'll be for all the, the fab stuff. Now they were going to replace the bulbs in these lights, but it turns out there's some ancient, super expensive, just, they're a bad bulb design. So the electrician's gonna come back tomorrow and replace the entire fixture with some LED fixtures. And that's gonna be super nice, having a separate switch for the, the, the lights in the fab area. I'm gonna go home and then I will see you guys tomorrow.
this place is now totally done. These new LEDs, I think, are a little bit dimmer than the old lights, so it's a bit darker. But don't worry, I've got a pack of 10 8-foot TA LED 90 watt lights, and I'm gonna be putting those kind of in the fab section. I'm also gonna be putting some on the walls and over my workbenches. But I mean, this is way better than it was before. So a huge thank you to Hyperlight for the, the lights. And then besides that, we got all the airlines fixed, systems holding pressure. Got an airline ran to the tire machine, although something on the tire machine needs to be replaced. All the outlets are fixed, the 220 volt uh, outlet is fixed. A lot of you guys are complaining about the doors, so we are gonna paint those black. I'm going on a short little break to visit my family back in Chicago, so I won't see you guys for about well, honestly, probably only a few days. When I come back, we're gonna do the rest of the lighting. We've got a lot of tools and equipment to set up, which is gonna be super exciting. We've got some fun signs and some decorative stuff to go up with some banners. And yeah, I mean, we're just gonna, we're gonna start moving in, which is super exciting. I hope all of you have a fantastic holiday. Thank you so much for the support on Patreon and on all the last videos, all these shop innovation videos. They've done so well, and so that makes me so happy. This place really is looking like a totally different shop than from when we got it. I mean, like the before and after difference, it's it's crazy. It makes me so happy. And it still has it still has more to go. Also, if anyone wants those fans that we're hanging up, um, I've got them for sale. We took them down because this place is gonna be air conditioned and we've got some other big ventilation fans, so they weren't necessary. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out, goodbye.